All right. In this video, I'm going to show you a particular functionality which is baked inside Emacs, uh, which is a attempt to show a top or H top like interface inside Emacs, which is called Proceed. Okay, so if you are not familiar with it, uh, this might come handy if you are exclusively running Emacs and wanted to have a facility to look at it the system related processes and to play along or manipulate along with it so this is this might help you so I thought to take a peek on it so you might be interested on, on it okay so without further ado let me get into my max and uh, all you have to do you have to do meta X and you need to write proceed okay so and if you press enter let me get big so so this is uh, something which which is uh, at present probably running in my not probably <laughs> it is at present running in my system okay so it's a clearly a uh, top like interface inside Emacs and the and and the and the command I uh, invoke from MX prompt you can see on the mode line called proceed okay now uh, like top you can manipulate other stuff with that likewise uh, if you go to meta X and if you write proceed uh, you can you can you can look at the bottom of the screen it will provide you so many options you know, proceed help proceed mark and their shortcut keys along with them okay so it will be good for you if if you are if you are sit inside Emacs for most of your time and wanted to have a peek every now and then about the system processes what is running in your system so you can do whatever you can do with top so this is a kind of baked into Emacs I believe and this will give you can renice a particular process you can unmark a particular process you can if you press proceed update and it will update the proceed display okay this if there is a lot of jobs is running in your system if you if you if you run the proceed update it will certainly update this because I haven't running anything specific or anything intensive in my system right at this moment so the display doesn't change okay so let me again uh, proceed um, okay so you can refine with if you click on any one of them you can let me do that see I click any one of them right so it will just filter it out from there okay so I just press enter in any of the random process which is running in my system and it simply filter it out and put it in a single so you can have a clear focus on what you are looking at okay so again and uh, I'm trying to show you that you could do a lot of stuff with it mm, you can mark it with M see everything gets marked you can see the asterisk uh, on the left most side of the screen and the color got changed okay likewise you can unmark too um, there must be a u see if i press it it gets uh, my cursor was specific to this if i go here and press u u u and you certainly can do it at branch i'm doing it for your sake one by one you just have to go to a specific process and press U to unmark it 
okay so let us now um, uh, you can also do uh, memory related stuff and the CPU related stuff if you wanted to see you, you can do all these things in top normal top right these are the interface which is specific and some sort of key is assigned to the per task what you can manipulate on this on this particular interface okay so I think this is very handy and I'm certainly not going to show you each and every functionality there are many so and it's clearly explicitly said what you need along with the keystroke you are supposed to press it is a nice way I thought it might be helpful to some people so that's why I'm making this video to make you aware if you are not yet aware of it so and again if you if you wanted to know something specific about some specific functionality provided by this particular piece all you can do control HV so you can you can see uh, you can look at the right hand side buffer it open of a context sensitive help where it says what proceed is all about and what you could do with this there are our keystrokes which is attached to it okay so it's not big and all the commands as i shown to you in the mini buffer few few seconds back are enlisted on this particular particular buffer for you to go through it if you wanted to lean on it you need to spend some time to get yourself accustomed with the key press and if you if you if you, if you do two three times it, it will naturally get etched into your muscle memory so you don't have to press enough in your brain to find out the keystroke for a specific thing to do okay so I highly encourage you to give it some time to read through this this information or man page or whatever you call inside Emacs so it will help you to get things going right so I thought it might be helpful to some people so you can you can easily use that okay so one more thing before I let you go uh, HV and if you write proceed here I'm trying to or this is for the as you can see on the bottom of the screen I'm trying to trace out the variable which is related to this particular functionality likewise likewise if you do control HF and if you do proceed it is standard stuff right in a max so if you wanted to understand uh, any of the functionality or related stuff you you can you can see all the function related to process proceed is enlisted here so if you go any of them and just press enter and it will show you in a in a buffer that what that specific functionality of this particular function walk and you can go through if you are really inclined you might take a peek into the source code which is enlisted there that proceed.el okay so it's a pretty standard stuff if you are inclined and curious enough about this control hv will provide you and you can provide all the variables related information of this particular functionality okay and control hf will provide you all the function related to this particular functionality proceed is a kind of top kind of stuff inside emacs 
I'm repeating again, if you are sitting inside Emacs for a longer period of time and wanted to know what is happening in the system process wise, this is what you could use to your benefit to get a peek of your system. Okay, so that's the whole purpose of this video to just to make you aware if you are not already aware of it. Okay. Thanks for watching.